If you guys didn't like that intro, I also have another one. Give me all the money! Give me all the money! <laughs> oh, God. Okay, John. <clears throat> Welcome to the Q&A. As you can see from the intro, I, I went to my local Walmart and I I bought, <laughs> I bought some ravioli. Everybody was going crazy, you know, buying toilet paper and shit and just going insane buying food. When I went into the store, I was filming and people were kind of like looking at me and stuff because they're not used to people filming in stores. And then they saw me just line the camera up next to the ravioli aisle, you know, you know, all the cans and shit. And there was a bunch of people in the aisle for some reason. I don't know why. Coronavirus. I, I was filming the ravioli and everybody was kind of like looking at me and stuff. And like I was filming myself grabbing the can a few times just, you know, for, for the for the video. And then I look around and everybody's still looking at me and I just grab two cans of ravioli and walk away. Fun times. Oh, and I have the little dog. I, I showed it in my my gaming setup video. Not a lot of you have, have seen that. Okay, it's a gem. I like that video. Okay. Look, look at the camera. Look. This is my little pup. Her name is Peach. You're kind of adorable, but she's so dumb, man. Oh my god, I've never seen a more dumb dog, but she's really nice. The thing she's most terrified of are balloons and inflatable objects. I don't know why. You're just a little adorable. She's not gonna be in the whole video, but I wanted you guys to see her. Look, Peach, look at the camera. Look, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Peach, you're free to go. Okay, ready? Also, you may have noticed I'm wearing a hat. Am I a douchebag? Is it because I'm a douchebag? No. It's because my hair. I'm, I'm kind of growing it out. It's like gonna be two or three more months and then it'll be good. I can like style it and stuff, but like, look at it. No, look at it! Look at it! I really look like a lesbian right now. Ugh. I don't like it. Nothing wrong with lesbian hair, okay? I don't mind lesbians, but it doesn't work well with me. <laughs> <sighs> what is this again? Okay, so I asked you guys some questions because I got my 100,000 subscriber YouTube plaque. Okay, for some reason, YouTube didn't give me my, my, I ha you have to have a little code. If you want your little plaque, you have to like give them a code and they ship it out to you. They didn't give me my code. I had to like talk to some guy on YouTube. Here's my, my letter signed by Susan herself, even though it probably isn't signed. I'm sure it's just a photocopy, but still keep, you know, still has a place in my heart. And then here's my beautiful, my beautiful award. Do you guys see that? And it says Dante Ravioli. I was telling my parents I was gonna like end up breaking it just because kind of like I, I watched a PewDiePie video recently and he talked about how awards mean nothing to him and he threw them all away. I kind of wanted to do that, but I, it's nice to have. So maybe future video when I hit like 100 million, I'll break them all. But for now, I love it. Did you guys enjoy me threatening my dog with a handgun on camera? Don't worry, I'm not gonna shoot some G Fuel like some other people. What the fuck? And again, it was fake. Okay, it's a fake gun, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Poor little dog. Also, I haven't even started the Q&A and I'm dying of heat. <laughs> Does it look good? Does it look good? Oh, you can barely see those. Okay, well, you know what? They're there, that's good enough. Okay, I've been messing around too much, okay? I've been showing off my words too much, getting ravioli in the stores. Let's get right into the video. So I was gonna do like, every time I hit a zero on the end of my subscriber count, I was gonna do a, like a Q and A. But you guys blew past 10,000 and 100,000 so fast that I couldn't even do my Q and A's. I did one in a thousand, now I'm doing it at 200,000. I'll do another one at a million, 10 million, and then a hundred million. That's, that's far away, but we'll hit it one day. Oh yeah, and for all you guys who think like I'm balling right now because I have 200,000 subscribers, you know, I have the best gaming setup in the world. No, I don't, look at this. That's what I'm using to hold up my friggin' camera because it's too short. Two Walking Dead books, okay? And there's my, my motivation. I've had that up since I had 100 subscribers. We're 20% we're of the way there, boys. We can do it. But you know what, enough about my life. You guys don't care about that. What you wanna hear is the questions. You wanna see your questions in this video, so let's go. Question time, question time. So Nin Amuri Muro 57, your name is Dante Ravioli. So I have two questions related to your name. Do you accept Chef Boyardee as your Lord and Savior? And two, do you like Devil May Cry? If so, would you do videos on it? So the first one, do I accept Chef Boyardee as my Lord and Savior? 
No, that's reserved for Jesus Christ himself. I've made that very clear in my videos. I don't know why you would say that. Don't say that again, that offends me. <laughs> do you like Devil May Cry? No, I know the main guy, his name, his name is Dante, okay? Everybody keeps telling me to do videos on it. I get it, okay? Just because the guy's name is Dante doesn't mean I need to play it. Um, but they do look fun. I've never personally played them. I, I might have played it like once in my life. By Augustinus Santoso. When you'll take... Ch when you'll take challenge Resident Evil 6 without running. I'm planning on doing Resident Evil 6 in the future. Actually, it'll probably be the next video right after my Q&A. But uh, I don't know, I guess I'll see. Like, I'm a YouTuber, okay, videos depend on views. If certain videos get less views than others, I tend not to do them. So I'll test out Resident Evil 6, I'll see how it does. By Bahamut, ba Bahamut. I'm messing up these names so bad, man. As you guys can tell, I can't pronounce shit in my videos. <laughs> And by the way, I don't care if I don't pronounce things right. I'll, I see you guys like, uh, it's not vertigo, it's, it's, I don't even know how you say it, but I like to pronounce words how I pronounce them, even if they're pronounced wrong. That's how I say them, okay? But I appreciate you guys looking out for me. Can Jesus microwave a burrito? This is a very serious question. <sighs> by George Ryan Santos. In Resident Evil, which is the thickest boy of them all? And two, how many times do you think Leon in Resident Evil 4? Am I reading these wrong? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll stick with the first one. In Resident Evil, which is the thickest boy of them all? Oh, Thick Boy! That's his name! Okay, by Just Your Friendly Pebble. Who is the most prime waifu material in all of the Ari series? By the way, congratulations. Thank you, I'm, I'm very proud of myself too. I don't know, I used to think Claire, man. I used to think Claire from the Resident Evil 2 remake. But Jill in in that remake, she was pretty good too, especially with <laughs> with the <j> the <laughs> jiggle physics, if you know what I mean. Really, we're talking about video game characters here. Frick, Mary, or kill Ada, Sheva, Ashley, go. Oh, uh, I would marry all of them. By Rocco Taco Studios. Question one: Will you try to beat Wesker in RE5 with only rotten eggs? And question two: How was your day? I hope you're having a good one. Thank you, my day is great. I'm dying of heat right now in this small room. You know, I'm stressing out. I'm, I'm working out a lot more than usual, lifting those ravioli cans and stuff. But, uh, will I try to beat Wesker in RE5 with only rotten eggs? You know, I'm gonna keep that a secret to myself. By Luna the Dragon. Here's a question for you, my dude. Has there ever been a challenge that you've seen others beat but can't do yourself or got hotfixed to the point where you couldn't do it anymore? P.S. Hope you re recovered well. Thank you very much for that. Um, no, I was, for the God of War, the, the first challenge I was trying to do was no upgrades at all. So I was playing on the hardest difficulty, no upgrades. So that means no skill points, no armor, like nothing, just basic attacks and shit. I could not do it. As soon as I got to Alfheim, Alf, Alfheim, is it Alfheim? I, I couldn't freaking do it, man. Like maybe if I had a month to do it or if I did it on stream, I might, but even then I can't stream because I have Wi-Fi, so. But I do love streaming, I used to do it in the past. I've deleted a fair amount of videos, privated them, so I may show you guys my older videos in the future, but I've been doing YouTube for four or five years. I think my oldest video was four years ago, but I kind of wanted my channel just to be about gaming challenges, so that's why you guys can't see any of my old videos. Alexander Bedillion. Do you know any other YouTubers personally, and are they your friend? Also, congrats, Mr. Ravioli. So. It's kind of cool, yeah, I've only been on YouTube for about a year. This is my one year mark, my one year celebration video. And I do know a few YouTubers. Uh, you guys know Senza, I see his name a lot on my channel. Yeah, we, we met, I had 100 subscribers, he had 400 when we both met, and we kind of helped each other to grow, and we gave each other strategies and stuff. He helped me a lot in the beginning. So I thank him for that. And then the cool thing is too, um, the guys from Cinna Massacre. I haven't talked to James yet, but I have talked to Justin and Kieran. Those are about the only YouTubers I know, but it's pretty awesome that I've only been doing this for a year and I've already met some pretty awesome YouTubers. And of course I do I do talk to some others, like uh, there's Nico BBQ, another gaming challenge YouTuber like myself. He does Mario stuff, go check him out, he's pretty awesome. Oh, and sorry, you know what? Check out Cinemassacre, Nico BBQ, and Senza. They make awesome videos, and you might be interested in them. Polyus Semetolskis. How did you become so passionate about having a career in gaming? Had any clue back in the past about getting fame? No, so like I said, I've been doing YouTube for four or five years, and for the first, like, four years or whatever, you know, before this year, I sucked, man. I had 100 subscribers, I would do YouTube for a few months, I would stop, I never got anywhere. 
I did some Fortnite stuff, you know, I was trying to jump on that trend, that was trash. But I did make some good videos back then. I did some Resident Evil stuff back then as well, like uh, some Resident Evil 4. I might end up releasing those videos in the future. Hello friends, my name is Dante, and I'm looking for my family. I remember that day clearly. I was sailing in the middle of the ocean, in a little rowboat, with my brother Ramon. One second he was there, I turned around to check the water, and next time I looked, Ramon was gone. Later that day I returned home to tell my family about Ramon, and when I got there, I realized they were all gone. They weren't anywhere to be found, but there was a letter in one of the chests. So I took it and read it, and it said, Dante, we took your family. If you ever want to see them again, you'll have to meet us and bring tons of carrots with you. Oh, I was horrified. So I threw the note away, and I gathered all the carrots I could. Uh, what, what am I even doing? So my journey today is looking for my family. And it took me a while to figure out that gaming was what I wanted to do because I used to game a lot as a kid but I've been getting out of it since I've been getting older. I just, I've found other stuff to do. But the fact that I can combine gaming to be my job is freaking awesome. Like that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. I never wanted to work for anybody. You know, I didn't go to university or college and everybody thought I was like a loser for it really. All my friends went to college and university but I stuck behind, you know. I took a minimum wage job and I was just working on YouTube business stuff and I just got lucky like that's all you have to do you have to do it for a long ass time and then just get lucky there's nothing I can say because you guys saw my growth I'll put it up here you know it's really slow I was doing gaming challenges since March and I only blew up in December I was getting some traction and you know November and stuff like that but it all comes down to luck and you have to have good videos that people are watching so by prod K heart what be your height young lady I I'm five foot ten. Not too high, not too small. I like this height, it's perfect. Why Dante Ravioli? Is Dante your real name? Name reveal? You guys have waited for this for a long time, haven't you? Okay, Dante is my real first name, I'll say that much. Ravioli, it's... I've had a few YouTube names in the past, okay? <laughs> I don't even know if I... Okay, I'll show you one. One of them was Enium. That was... <laughs> that was when I first started, it was so stupid. Uh... <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. I had like one or two more, but I ended up being Dante Ravioli because I wanted my first name to be in there, first of all. Ravioli is similar to my last name, and that's what I was kind of called in high school sometimes, like not too often. I thought it was so stupid, but I put it in my YouTube name anyway, so. I don't know, I, I kind of like it though, but it's grown on me, but at first I thought it was so stupid, but at least it had my first name in it. Okay, Alexander Lowe, what was the hardest challenge you've ever done? Also, congrats Dante, I've watched your vids over a hundred times and they never stop making me laugh and never me tired of watching them. <laughs> Do you guys not read these before? <laughs> you know, I love, that's what I love, I love writing stories and putting memes and stuff in, so. Not everybody likes it, some people think I'm cringy. I kind of think, it's hard, it's hard to tell for myself too, because when you watch yourself on camera and stuff, you automatically think you're cringy. Like I already think it's cringy watching myself. So it's kind of hard to pinpoint what other people would think is cringy. You know what I mean? Cause I do understand there's some things that are cringy and some things that aren't, but in the end, if I enjoy making it and, and I enjoy making the video and I don't cringe at myself, then I think that's good enough. You know, it, it's impossible not to be cringy to certain people. If certain people think I'm cringy, if 1% of you think I'm cringy, but the other 99% think I'm hilarious, good, I've won but there's inevitably gonna be people who think I'm cringy. I didn't even answer your question. Snowbomb, look guys, he's a member. He's a member for $5 a month. You can become a member of my channel and it supports me, but you guys don't really get any benefits from it. It's just, if you wanna support me, do it for a month or two, whatever. You get a cool little ravioli icon when you comment on my channel. If you don't wanna do it, cool. I just, there's no harm in me having it on the channel. Some people were getting mad like anytime a YouTuber wants to make money, people are like, ooh, ooh. YouTubers are allowed to make money. You shouldn't expect us to live in cardboard boxes. If I want this to be my job, that's what I have to make money. I don't know, it's like people expect, if YouTubers can't, they don't want YouTubers to make money. Should actors not make money? Should musicians not make money? Like it's all an art form, you know? I don't know. How much ravioli you got? I only have two cans of ravioli back there. That's all I got. 
<laughs> you know, I heard the coronavirus was popping off. The first thing I did was run to Walmart and buy two cans of big ravioli. Everybody thought I was crazy, but it's worth it, man. Cakes? Other than the Resident Evil series or the other games you played on your channel, what was your favorite ever game? My favorite game of all time is The Last of Us. I've done a few videos and I cannot wait until The Last of Us 2 comes out. Then God of War. I just, I love story games. God of War is just so amazing. And then Resident Evil 4 is probably my third favorite game. Back in my day, we got the belt. Daddy Sepianto. When I see you, I always remember SpongeBob dancing and says, ravioli, ravioli, ulululu. I feel like I, I've, I watched a lot of Spongebob as a kid, it was one of my favorite shows. It's been a couple years, but all I remember is ravioli, ravioli, give me the formioli. What a great meme. How have I not put that in a video yet? Seed to Rashid. Where did your love for Resident Evil games begin? Uh, right when I was in my mother's belly, actually. Elduke99. I really like how you actually respond to most of your comments. That is something rare to find in a YouTuber. Congrats, man, and you deserve it. I try to, that's what I, I like to respond to everybody because I hate seeing those YouTubers with like 10 million subscribers and they don't respond to anybody. I see why they do it though. I, it's kind of, it's hard, I don't know. Bruh, man, I like it. On a scale of one to 10, how surprised are you that you reached your dream? Cause you really shouldn't be surprised that is. I mean, I've been doing YouTube for four or five years, like I said. I remember Mr. Beast in the H3 interview, he was saying he would lay in bed at night and like he just wondered like should I quit like I don't know if this is going anywhere you know and that's how I felt too a lot of the times I do YouTube for like two or three months then see that I'd have like two subscribers and then quit you know and that would happen over four years I just kept going and then quitting and then going and you know it's not until I started doing this this is my one year mark my one year mark of not quitting and look at where I am I'm not saying that's gonna work for everybody I see guys do YouTube for like 10 years and have like 200 subscribers like it's really hard to pin down and I don't want to like motivate people into doing it if you're not going to succeed. Just, I guess the biggest thing I would say is don't quit because the only reason I didn't blow up before is because I was not, is because I kept quitting. I do it for two months, get like, you know, 50 subscribers and then be like, oh, this isn't worth it and just quit. So I'm pretty surprised that I blew up in December. That's all I can say. Corey Vortex, who inspired you to start gaming? Because you're a god. <laughs> Thank you. Um, PewDiePie. He inspired me to start gaming. I watched him, I watched him back in grade school, in elementary school. And I've been out of school for a year and a half. You know, I decided not to go to college or university. I would never go personally. I think it's a scam, dude. Like, I don't know. Unless you want to be a doctor or a lawyer. Other than that, it's a complete waste of time in my opinion. Um, but it is good for some people, I understand that. And I just, I always wanted to do something else. Like do work for myself, do business for myself, YouTube, and it worked out, so. I'm happy about that. So yeah, it was PewDiePie, he inspired me. He's one of my favorite YouTubers, probably my probably my favorite YouTuber. Faye, I always wondered what inspired you to start the whole game challenges thing? I really enjoy them, but I gotta know. Much love and congrats. Okay, this is such a good question because you, you wouldn't believe how many times I see in my comments, Mitten Squad clone or Senza clone or, you know, which I don't really mind, but it's the fact that they didn't inspire me or anything. The two who inspired me were Sieve Gaming and Mayro. I saw that they did uh, Mario challenges and it was perfect for me because I don't like doing improv. You know, I, I don't like having a controller and improving it out and I like to write out a story and record when I need to and the gaming challenges were perfect for that. So the two who inspired me to do gaming challenges were Sieve Gaming and Mayro. You guys might be wondering, well, what about Mitten Squad? What about, what about Senza? So Senza, I made my first gaming challenge two months before Senza did. So I was already making gaming challenges before he even popped up, you know what I mean? So he didn't inspire me or anything. He helped me out a lot and I appreciate that. We helped each other, so. But that was when we met up, you know, the two months later, three months, whatever. It was a couple months before we met each other. And I was already doing gaming challenges before I even knew who Mitten Squad was. I think I did my first, up until I did my first Skyrim video. Uh, it was how far can you chase a guy across the map or how far will he follow you across the map? I did that one before I even knew about Mitten Squad. I was already getting into story making and storytelling, kind of like that. And then I was researching more Skyrim videos to do and that's when I saw that he did the, the first video I saw him do was, can you beat Skyrim with only shouts, I think? And I thought that was such a good idea. I was like, oh, I wish I came up with that idea. But that was the first time I ever saw Mitten Squad. I specifically don't watch other gaming challenge YouTubers because I want to have my own style. 
Like I might check out Mitten Squad's video for a minute or two, but I, I purposely don't watch their videos because I don't want to, because I'll subconsciously get ideas, you know? Like you guys can probably tell I kind of act like PewDiePie a little bit or like certain people a little bit because I, I watch them, but I really try not to watch other gaming challenge videos because I don't want to, that's why I started putting memes in my videos and started making it storytelling and you know, I think my videos are really original. I don't know if you guys would agree about that, but again, I specifically do not watch other gaming challenge YouTubers because I don't want to get their ideas stuck in my head because it will happen. So I, I stay away from that. Okay guys, this video is getting kind of long. I don't know, man, I don't know. How long is your pee? Why does everybody want to know the length of my pee pee? Okay, I think that's gonna wrap. <laughs> That's the third time somebody's asked me for the length of my pee pee. So I think that's a, that's a good thing to end on. Did you guys learn a little bit more about me? Did you know that I had cans of ravioli? Did you like my dog? Did you like the intro? 200,000 in one year. Thank you guys so much. I shouldn't just be thanking you guys. Like, of course, it's because I put hard work into my videos. I make good videos. It's as, it's as much an effort on my part as it is you guys watching the videos and liking and subscribing and stuff. But us together, made big boom boom happen to channel, so thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you in my next 1 million subscriber Q&A. Also, if you enjoy like real life videos like this, I kinda like doing them, I might do them more often. You guys ready for the outro, the outro I always do? And I'll see you, thick boys, in my next video.